The ideas I express in the following pitch may already be in a game or movie, and I may just not know about it. However, if they are in a game or movie that I do know about, I simply don't feel that they live up to the potential of said ideas. Okay, another video game pitch. I have been playing a lot of Deus Ex Human Revolution recently, and yeah, basically the takedown function, which yeah, for, for those who haven't played, basically you, it's, it's close quarters, you press a button, and there's this cinematic takedown where you either kill or knock out, you, you choose the opponent. And I like that a lot, but I, I had some thoughts on making it more interactive and challenging. I was thinking that you could target specific areas of the body, and it would be this... Yeah, basically you, you input stuff and it's, it's in quick succession, like... Like, like a fencing game, or like, yeah, like a fighting game, where you do something and then they maybe try to block it or get away from it and such. And now basically, another thing you should probably know is the... Well, yeah, in, in Deus Ex Human Revolution, you can do it whether they already know you're there or not. But, yeah, the, this takedown, would, I would say, should also work for that. And I'd say maybe it should be tougher if they already know where you are. But let's say you're behind someone, you want to knock them out. Maybe you start by targeting the knee, the like the back of the knee. And if you hit that well properly... It, Basically, like, like role-playing, maybe there's a certain chance of you hitting it well, or maybe you choose the force you hit with as well, or something. And let's say, say you just want to knock them out, and you start by hitting them in the back of the head, and you have to, if you do so, you have to be careful not to hit too hard, or he might die from being hit in the head. Something like that, and if you only want to knock them out. Anyway, you hit them back of the knee, Maybe there's a, a counter for like, or a meter for like balance, so it'll show how, yeah, how much balance they have left if they, if that pretty much brought them down. And if it didn't bring them down, how close are they to being brought down? Things like that. And say you did bring them down, maybe you could then hit them in the back of the head. Something like that. And just... Yeah, and, and if you don't, if you aren't careful, maybe they basically raise an alarm. Maybe you aren't quick enough to do it, or maybe they fight back well enough. It's just playing the game. I played it. I've only done one playthrough now, and I played it entirely stealthily and as non-lethally as I could. And basically, that means that you don't really get the benefit of there being a you know, there, there's three classes of enemies, as there are in a lot of games. Light, medium, and heavy. And you don't really get the benefit of the challenge of the heavy, or even the medium, if you just sneak behind them and knock them out. And it's just all done in this cutscene that you don't really... Sure, the, the sneaking part can be tough, but it, I can't really tell particularly the difference if I'm sneaking behind a heavy or a light. If, if I'm never spotted, it doesn't make any difference. It's just, it's more dangerous if I am spotted. And what I'm thinking is, the heavy would be better armored and better at protecting himself. Like, maybe you go for the knee, back of the knee, but maybe he has some kind of guard there or something. Or maybe especially, like, hitting him in the head immediately isn't necessarily going to work. Maybe he has a helmet. Stuff like that. That's what I'm thinking. The next video game pitch is also for the takedowns in Human Revolution. So basically, a lot of the time when you knock the guy out, you're left just with the body right there, and you might, and like immediately after, you have to hide it. And I was thinking it would be cool if maybe you could combine the two so that when you are knocking them out, you can also be sort of dragging them away, and there's a sort of struggle. Because as long as they're still conscious, they're going to be trying to, you know, reach an alarm. Or maybe, like, maybe you grab their, uh, their mouth so they can't yell out, and you're trying to 
pull them backwards while also, I don't know, yeah, well yeah, while you're covering their mouth, if you also cover their nose, they'll go like unconscious after a little while. And while that is happening, they will struggle and maybe they'll like try to kick backwards and you either dodge that or kick their leg. Or stuff like that. And again, the whole thing would take maybe 10 seconds or so. And if you win the struggle, not only will they be unconscious, but they will be drug all the way back to the hiding spot that you were going for. Or maybe there'd also be like a partial win where you knock them out, but you didn't get them very far. And now you're left trying to get them into a hiding spot. And like the worst case scenario is that they actually break free. Like if their kick hits you, then it would actually be they'd actually get free and raise an alarm. And I'm thinking either like quick time events or like a meter kind of thing where you have to get it to a specific spot like in The Punisher, the 2004 video game, the, the tie into the movie where you're, you have this interrogation system where you have to hold the, the person in a specific... yeah. You, you have to apply pressure, a certain amount of pressure, and the meter will let you know how close you are, and you have to... Yeah, it's, it's a little difficult to explain the meter without visual aids, but yeah. Okay, so finally, this one is also inspired by the XX Human Revolution, but really it's about stealth gameplay in general. In most of these games that I've played, you, if you turn off the camera, say, like in, you can in the Deus Ex games, or at least knock out, take out guards, you can usually do that in stealth games, they, the enemy won't really notice, they won't wonder, hey, where did Bob go? He didn't show up for a shift. You know, why, in Hitman, why, why is, my buddy is suddenly the wrong ethnicity, he's taller, he's bald. All this stuff, I would like more stealth games where they would react in the natural way. If you notice that a camera has been turned off and you're on guard duty, you're gonna raise an alarm. If you can't find the the guard on duty, you know, maybe you start by calling for him, but if you don't get a response, you sound the alarm. And basically there's two ways to go from there. I'm thinking that it should maybe be two completely separate games. Either you basically take out the guards, even though they know to expect someone, you know, predator style. Like the, like the first Predator movie. Or you have to sneak, you, you have to make the choice. Do you want to sneak past the active cameras, patrolling guards, and so on and so forth, without taking out any of them? Or do you want to try to knock out as much of it as you can before you're either noticed, which would mean, excuse me, which would mean you lose, not just that you can fight your way out of it. That's, I'm really tired of stealth games where it's just, oh, I got spotted, oh well, I'll settle for a lower rating. No, you're dead. It's, just, it's more fun that way, or at least to me it is. I, I like that kind of, yeah. And, yeah, that, that would be one option, or if you, if you aren't noticed, Let's say you have a certain, let's say you have to get 50 meters across and there's heavy security all the way. Let's say you knock out the security of the first 25 meters and at that point it's noticed that something is wrong and they start investigating and then you really quickly sneak the remaining 25 meters. That'll still count as a win or at least a partial win, I'm thinking, and that could maybe even almost be a little bit of a strategy. I, I really, I still would prefer that at least some of the guards stayed put. And maybe they even raised security for the last little bit. So it's like, 
the longer you avoid getting noticed, the better. And yeah, the, the other option is of course to not, yeah, as I already talked about, to, to not take out any of it and just memorize the patrol routes and know, know how long it takes for the camera to turn from one side to the other. How long do I have to get from one place to another? And, yeah, and it, it's basically like Prisoner of War. I know most of you probably don't even know that game exists, but it's, it's a great take on stealth where it's, it's not a fantastic game, but it's a really, really fun one. Basically, you can't take out any enemies. You can distract them, but there is no way to resist them. And if you're just completely spotted, you basically lose the attempt. And there is no real quick save. That would be another thing. If you fail, you have to go back and start over that bit. I believe that just about covers the different... Yes. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.